I wanted to do a quick video to show you the difference between uh, walking nicely on a loose lead and when I attach the lead to the back of his harness means he can pull where he likes. So it sort of teaches the difference. So as you see there, if he walks up a little bit, as soon as it gets tight, he'll put himself back where he needs to be. So what I'm going to ask him to do is to still, which means glue your feet to the ground. And then once he's done that, I'm going to change his lead to the back and show you what that looks like. Still. So, just going to put this lead. That's like unhelpful time to turn, mister. And say, okay. Which means you can go again. And he should, as soon as he realises that this is attached to the back and not the front, he should then start pulling me around a bit more. So, Boson has learnt if you're on the uh, front attachment to walk nicely and if you're on the back you can do exactly as you like and there'll be no training. It just means do as you do. So back attachment very much means you can keep pulling. If he pulls he can keep pulling um, as he does do. As you can see he doesn't correct himself at all. As soon as the lead goes tight he'll just carry on as he is and dragging me towards things. Um, which is fine because that's the difference we have. We have the if you're on a on the back you can do as you want. If you're on the front you walk nicely and you have to be aware that I'm attached to you. So Boson loves to sniff about he has huge, huge, huge interest in things. Lots of things. Um, and pulling towards things is one of his favourite things to do, so we do let him do it. That's why I give him these times where he can just drag about and do exactly as he wishes. Because that's what he likes doing. So you'll see he veers away from me when he walks like this. He doesn't kind of choose to walk with me or anything at all. The only sort of cue command he will listen to is when I say still, which means don't move your feet. And that usually is followed by me changing the lead one way or the other to either long line or to attach the front or the back. So I'm going to show you in a second what the difference is. Mason, still. I'm just going to change, oops, still. So you see how even his still is actually quite ridiculous when he's on the back. Just stay there. When he's on the back attachment, he stops caring about what I'm doing. And if I ask him to do something, it's a bit half-hearted. And that's because there's no training goes on when he's on the back. He's just allowed to be free. And you see how, as soon as we go back on this attachment, on the front, he will walk with me again. So there's mutual uh, walking, mutual nice loose lead walking when he's on the front. And when he's on the back, he's allowed to pull me and I'm allowed to pull back. And we're both just allowed to be a bit switched off and do our own thing, which is quite nice. But on the front, he knows loose lead is what we do. And that's what I do too. So I hope this helps you to see the difference in uh, how dogs associate things and how their listening skills can switch off if you change something you're doing or if you change the way they associate something.